Iisus Hristos a înviat în primul rând. Hello Belgio. Suntem alături de voi și voi să fiți alături de noi la Düsseldorf. Uh, începem imediat. Azi pe mare fei! Cum sunteți? Bine! În engleză sau română? Română! Hai să începem, prima piesă. Ce? Poftim? Da, am înțeles. Sau, there's some change for Eurovision. Piesa asta, piesa, piesa pentru Eurovision 2011. Da, hai. Song. Piesa. Absolutely beautiful. I love the the, the, the architecture. It's very mm. gothic, a little bit like English style where I'm from, you know. And uh, this little town called York near where I live. It looks pretty much like that. Small, quiet, but beautiful at the same time. You know, it's really, really nice. Nice, no, very nice. Beautiful people. You're from Newcastle, aren't you? Uh, near Newcastle. Yeah, Newcastle. Yeah, Newcastle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that, that's that. What made you move to Romania? Um, well. It's about, I think, I, you know, I was working in factories in England, mm -hmm. right, on the garbage, on the bins, and uh, I was sort of looking at my life like that, you know, like, 
do I want to do this for the rest of my life? No, but I signed up with the ABS project, which okay. is the European Voluntary Service. And you need to serve some good country to leave that. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I signed up with the ABS Voluntary Project, which is the European Voluntary Service, where I went to Romania to work helping orphans and disabled children. And uh, I met my girlfriend there in this one year. And we are all friends. And was <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. But uh, no, and I ended up staying. Somebody found me on the karaoke, which was a uh, strange thing, you know. Somebody offered me a job singing. And then uh, I found out this guy was looking for a vocalist. Gabi Beruza was looking for a vocalist for his band. Uh, I went to the studio and he asked me. Uh, Sing, I sang a song. I said, "Wow, mm. great! This is my my lead singer forever." Okay. <laughs> and uh, so I joined the band. Uh, we went to a competition called Cherubo de Al, which is the Golden Stag, where Christina Aguilera also sang a lot of years ago. Uh, and we came in, when we arrived in the semi-final. After that, last year we also well, we did a lot of concerts and things like that and make some songs. Last year we tried the Eurovision, and uh, we came uh, fourth place in the final. Um, well, we tried again this year and we got first place, which is a huge well, thing. Congratulations on Thanks that. A lot. <laughs> it was on New Year's Eve, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was yeah. the most memorable New Year's yeah. Eve of my life. And, and you did actually a bet. <laughs> a bet what? That if you won? Yeah, <laughs> that was a bit crazy. I said, if I won, I'll run naked down the street, <laughs> and, you know? Well, I would have done it, but uh, everybody from the Romanian television and things like that were telling me that if I do that, that it'll be a little bit embarrassing for the country. So, so would you do it in Dusseldorf? If I did, if I was in England, in Dusseldorf, yeah. Because if you win, you no. If it was in the UK, I'd do it because it's my country, you know. And uh, okay. no, I, we'll see. If I win, we'll see. <laughs> Has it always been a wish of yours to be part of Eurovision? Uh, no, but you know, when I was younger, uh, I used to watch. The, f the first thing I remember from, from Eurovision was uh, Dana International. Mm. I was thinking the first time. Did she sing after that uh, song from England? Who won? Yeah, yeah. it was in Birmingham, yeah. What's the song? the song? Katrina the Wave, Love, 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 Love Shine. Like, yeah. That was the first thing I remember. Okay, the then after that, Danny International. And after, I think I pretty much after that, I stopped watching it. I got a bit bored and all, I went in different directions. But I always imagined, wow, how good would it be to sing yeah, in Eurovision, yeah, yeah. you know? But uh, I never expected to arrive actually on stage, you know, after so many years. No, it's an absolute wonderful pleasure. That follows a question, will you continue watching it in the future? Of course. Uh, it's it's totally, it's changed my way of thinking of the Eurovision now and it's made me a little bit more interested in it, you know, but a lot more interested in it. And uh, it's, it'll be good to see, I don't know, which, which countries, uh, which artists have, you know, are in different countries and things like that. It'll be much more interesting. But after, after you won in, in Romania in the national final, what did you do afterwards? How did it continue with the with preparations? On the night or no, the, the, the period of time in the preparations? Right, well, first, firstly after we won, I think we took about two weeks break, you know. Uh, and then after that, we I think we started in the uh, beginning of February with the preparations. And uh, first of all, we did uh, a promotion tour in Bulgaria and then, and then Moldova. They went on the pre national pre-selections in Bulgaria and Moldova for some promotion and we sang there. Uh, we started working on uh, the dance routine. Yeah. Um, we filmed a video clip. We went to Brand, Brand's Castle, Dracula's Castle. Uh, we went to uh, a hotel, yeah. a hotel made of ice, which is in the mountains. Nice. Uh, we, we, we filmed there as well, and uh, also in Salina Turde. It's like a underground salt mine, um, which was absolutely futuristic, wonderful place. Absolutely loved it. And uh, then after that. Yeah, if you come to Romania, you've got to visit that. Uh, it's a wonderful tourist place. Uh, then after that, we went to Italy. We stayed in Italy for some more promotion uh, on Rai, Rai Uno. Rai Uno. Yeah, Rai Uno. Rai Uno. Rai Uno. And, uh, and then... Uh, Romanian, Romanian people live in... And we've just been to London. We've just been to London now last week, which was absolutely amazing. Uh, the Romanians have never ever sang uh, our song up to now. You know, mm -hmm. I thought it was just something normal. When we arrived in London, uh, I started singing the song and everyone was just singing the song along. So I held the microphone like that, you know? <laughs> and everyone was just singing the song. I was like, wow, oh my god, you know? It was such a big surprise. Uh, we had some interviews as well with the BBC, with. Uh, with whom did you speak to? From the BBC? Yeah. Oh, I can't remember her name. I can't remember her name. For the program itself? The program, BBC, yeah. BBC One. BBC One, okay. BBC yeah. One, yeah, yeah. 
Um, we spoke with uh, Escape today, of course, and some uh, some of the uh, Daily Star news paper in, in London. Um, I met Dana International, of course. So, what's your impression about uh, her? Yeah. She, I don't know. She's a nice, nice person, you know. It's, she, she can see that she likes the attention, you know. She, but of course, she's famous and she's well known. Which, who doesn't like the attention, you know? And uh, now, now we're just arrived in Belgium. We went back to Bucharest. We've done a little bit more practice, and then now we've arrived in Belgium. Change is your song. Yeah. Does it exist also in Romanian? Change. Yeah. Uh, does it, what? The song itself. Of course, it was the Romanian version of it. No. Ah, oh, the lyrics. Ah, yeah. oh, no, it's just an English version. It's just an English. Yeah. Yeah. But, but some Eurovision remixes are, are being put out after Eurovision or during the Eurovision week. Probably. Would there be a different dance mix to it? Well, I would like that. You know, uh, that's the dance yeah, we, we make. We, we work uh, with some DJs in Romania, uh, and probably the I dance know, version. The dance version. Know, but, but it's very, very difficult because our song is uh, in uh, 140 yeah, BPM. Uh, BPM. And uh, BPM. it's very, I don't know. Anything is possible, Gavin. Yeah, any song. Is of course. I don't know, I'm not a DJ, I'm a songwriter. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Could you maybe Hopefully. introduce the band? Yeah, this is Gabriel Maruzza. Songwriter and keyboard and backing vocals. Okay. Lead singer, of course, Dave Bryan right. and Alex. Okay. I don't know. They don't know your name? So we, want, we want you to say your name. So how many people are going to be on stage? Five. Five. There's two more. There's two more dancers, but they're, two more dancers. they're now in Romania making preparations for the okay. dance. Okay. So when are you off to Düsseldorf? In the second of May. Like so one week left? One week. So what are you going to do in the meantime? Well, after we arrive back in Belgium, I've got to go back home for two days. My, I've got to relax with my girlfriend a little bit. <laughs> you know, just for two days. And, uh, and then we're going to come back to, go back to Bucharest. Three, three days or something to practice. Some, some more practice with the dancers. And then directly to Germany. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So then we'll see you there. All the best yeah. of luck for Hotel yeah, FM. Let's do another yeah, interview in Germany. Bring it into the final, into the high Qualified. position there. Yeah, well, yeah. aim for number one. Top ten would be nice. <laughs> yeah, okay. Great. Uh, All the best to you, Ryan. Right. Hotel FM. Thank you.